Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be looking at an ancient artifact with a secret message that might reveal one of the game's biggest mysteries. So if you guys are interested in checking this out for yourself, you're gonna need to go to one of the most highest northeastern parts of the map, above Annisburg. And essentially you're gonna look for this little cliffside and you're going to find this big rock. Now, what separates this big rock from the rest is that it looks to have some secret message engraved on there. However, as you guys can see, it's clearly not English, and the message seems to be wrapped inside of a snake or a serpent. Now, Arthur or John can actually inspect this site, and you find out that this is called the Old World Scripts and Arthur writes, wonder what this says. And the question that Arthur wrote down in his journal is probably one that a lot of you guys, including myself, are asking. What does this message say, and does it reveal something uh, hidden inside of the game? So upon looking at the old world script a little bit more, you can tell that instead of it being a language, it's more of like, at least what I noticed, sort of like symbols. And after finding out about this, I wanted to do a little bit more research on what this could potentially mean. So I found a post on the Red Dead Mystery subreddit by a user, Galwagon, who actually found out that the symbols that you see on this stone are actually Nordic alphabet symbols. And this user actually decrypted the message. So full credit and shout out to them. So the message is a little bit rough, but that of course might have been a translation error, but essentially it says, we arrived by boat, beautiful land, gracious people. So we left them to live in peace. So this gives us a little bit more information. Whoever built this old world script or this stone arrived to this land by boat. They obviously found the land beautiful. They ran into people that are already living here and they left them alone to live in peace. So that right there is pretty wholesome. So upon digging and finding out some more information, it looks as if that this rock was placed here by the Vikings, because that makes sense if you also dive into the history of North America and how it was discovered by various groups. So the Vikings arrived before everyone else did, and those gracious people that they ran into could very easily be the Native Americans, which we see in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well, are still a big part of this game. So now that we know that this Old World script is from Vikings, I wanted to do some more research on what a stone like this actually is. And apparently these are rune stones, and these stones were put up as memorials to people or expeditions, or it might even be a representation of their mythology. So that's why we might see the snake or other animals, and the message was probably about the journey they had over here, which is what they said, and what they found when they arrived here. So we've gathered a lot of information so far. We know who placed the stone, we know what the message was, but one thing that's been escaping me is the snake. What does the serpent actually mean? Well, the snake is apparently the Midgard serpent who is a sea serpent in Norse mythology. And this serpent grew so large that he was able to surround the earth and grasp his own tail. As a result, he received the name of the Midgard Serpent or World Serpent. So that would explain why on the Old World scripts, you see the snake literally wrapping around itself. So again, that backs up the point that we're looking at Nordic culture here or Norse mythology, which again would back up the fact that Vikings are the people who put this stone here. So now that we know that it's Vikings who placed this, and since we know that this was placed in Roanoke Ridge, New Hanover, I started to remember that there's other Viking artifacts that can actually be found in game. So if you go a little bit further inland, you can actually find an old Viking tomb. Now, upon approaching the tomb for the first time, Arthur will actually write in his journal that this is an old tomb, and he will say, who were these fellas? So again, on the old world scripts, he says, wonder what it says, and on the old tomb, he says, wonder who these fellows were. Now, inside of this tomb, you can find three Viking artifacts. You can find the Viking hatchet, which is right sort of in that center area. And then if you go on the inside of there, you can actually find the Viking helmet 
And if you get rid of some of the skulls on one of those little like platforms, you can actually reveal an ancient Viking comb, which is something that you can hold on to as well. So three Viking artifacts just a couple of hundred meters away from where the old world script was. Once again, I think that reinforces the point that this is where the Vikings are from and that this is where they came to. Now, getting back to the Old World scripts, Galwagon actually translated what's inside the snake. So if you actually go back to the Old World script, you can see that there are symbols inside of the snake as well. They're all sort of separated. And this user has also decoded that. And apparently it's a poem. So this is gonna be a little bit choppy, but this is essentially what it says. The sun wants ice death, war ice and sun, a good year ice. The sun weakness. Powerful ice want more than life, the sun death. Ice need violent law and greed. Ice, god of sky, death gold knowledge. A good year ice, a good year strife. Weakness wounds challenge the new insight Odin, the ice. Emotional hunger, ice, the true sky god. Thorn Lake needs serpent, waterfall, sun, ice, ice, serpent, wounds, imbalance, wealth, constraint of freedom, protection, serpent, seek, clarity, wealth, lake, hail, ice. So I know that was pretty choppy, but I think this means the goddess of sun challenged Odin and fought with him. And Odin almost killed the sun and became a greedy and violent god. So again, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with like a hidden mechanic or a quest in game. I think it's just a legend of the, you know, Nordic culture and Norse mythology that Rockstar sort of put into this. Now, this did make me want to investigate a couple of the other locations in game because this isn't the only snake or serpent that appears. Uh, in case you guys don't know, there's like a giant snake hanging from a tree, and I think it's like Le Gras. I mean, it is like massive. This thing has to be like 18 feet long, maybe even more. So that's a big snake right there. There's also a giant serpent mound as well that you can find, and there's actually a treasure map located at the top. So snakes are a big part of Red Dead Redemption 2. They appear a lot in Easter eggs, and they certainly have a big part in this secret meaning for this artifact. Now, because this was the first time I had ever explored this area of the map, I wanted to see just how far east I could actually go and uh, see if there was anything else that we could discover. In fact, I didn't even think I could get over this way, but apparently you can. Uh, you have to do some parkouring to really get all the way over. And really the only unique thing I found over here is a crashed boat. I wonder if that's the boat described by the Vikings on that runestone. The reason I say that is because it looks like it's more dated construction on the boat. It looks like it's just random logs that have been put together rather than like pre-fastened wood for more modern ships that we see. Uh, and there's also, I think, a cheat code on here too. It says, better than my dog, I think, dad or dog. Uh, but that's actually a cheat code that you can enter. So I guess Rockstar put that there for a reason. But that might be the boat described by the Vikings on that old world script. Now that's about the only thing I noticed over here. I don't think there's anything else going on. There wasn't anything inside of the boat either, like a lockbox that would reveal some more information. So unfortunately, I don't think we gather anything more regarding this, but I guess this old world script gives us some more information and kind of solves the Viking mystery of the game. Because if you found that old tomb, you'd be like, you know, how did Vikings get here? And why did they leave behind their artifacts? Well, now it makes more sense. You know, they came to this world, they put the rune stone together, and apparently they lived here in Roanoke Ridge and they also were at peace with the Native Americans, which is really cool. So they were super friendly with them. Now, I'm not sure how historically accurate that is, because even though this is the furthest east part of the map, doesn't necessarily mean it's the east coast of the United States where the Vikings would have come in on, or I, the east coast of North America, I should say. Uh, but regardless, I think that's Rockstar just trying to get it as close as possible. Either way, it's super cool, and I think it gives us some more clarity on one of the coolest Easter eggs and mysteries in the entire game. So I highly recommend you guys check out this ancient artifact for yourself. It's super cool, and I think it sheds a light on a, a pretty neat mystery here in Red Dead Redemption 2. 
But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.